Okay, hello all you inflatable boat owners and community in Mariner 4 community. I wanted to show you uh, some of the modifications that I've made to my Mariner 4. First thing, I have Scotty mounts opposite of the original fish rod holders so I can put another fish rod holder on. And then I put half inch plywood sanded, sealed, and I taped the edges of mine, tried the foam, it was just a mess. So, and this works really good. And then I put, I cut it in the middle so I can fold it, and I hinged it on the back side so when you stand on it, it presses against, against each side so it doesn't give in the middle. Okay, and then I put folding seats on with cup holders and little kit cubby for stuff mounted them on adjustable seat bases so if I want to go higher I can I put t-nuts on the bottom of the board glued them in so if I needed to pop this off just four seven sixteenths bolts pop right out Okay, and then moving on, I put a board or table or tray, whatever they want to call it, on my boat. I've uh, did the sugar bond, show sugar bond method on, on it. And I'm gonna, I got some bone fish decals. I'm gonna put on it and put along here, and then I'm gonna put. I commandeered my one of my wife's sewing tapes. I'm going to lay that on top of it, and then I'm going to decoupage over the top of it. It really looks nice. But my board, a lot of people put a rail system on it. I didn't want to mess with all that extra stuff. So what I did is I put mop holders on the bottom that clip onto my oar. Makes it... Uh, I can pop it off if I need to use my oars for any reason. And uh, so on my board, as you can see, I have plenty of room from my seat to move around. I can put a cooler down here under it. I can put it back if I have a guest so that they can have some, some leg room. Plenty of room underneath to put my cooler full of my beverages. And again, like I said, I can just pop that off and use my oars as needed. Moving around, my other seat, same setup. I have a three horse Henkai motor. Works really well. I've tested it and ran it, broke it in. Some people have had bad luck with them, but this one's a good one. Put my extension on it so I can sit here in my chair and run it, throttle it without having to stretch to run it. Moving around, there's my other Scotty Mount fish rod holder. And I put on a Scotty Mount Transducer mounting arm post mount. It's adjustable. So if you need more length or shorter length, you can adjust it. It's got a tension knob here. You can bring it up when you're coming in. Drop it down when you're fishing and tighten it up. Works good. I have used that bit, that already. It is good. Moving around here, I have my fish finder on here works great it's a helix 5 chirp di gps g2 it's really nice i love i love the screens split screens you can use definition of the, what's under you it's pretty cool uh, now instead of now since I have the gas motor, 
I don't have to lug that heavy dang battery around for my electric motor and my electronics. All I need is a small battery for my fish finder. What I did, I got a little box from Harbor Freight. Got an old solar panel to charge my battery up. Works really great, puts out some volts. I have a meter on it to tell me my voltage, my percentage, and my voltage of my battery. I have a cigarette lighter plug for whatever you need, cell phone chargers. This plug here is for my, my solar panel. And inside, I have a junction box for my solar panel, but I have this really small, lightweight, Mighty Max High Ray Gel Series 12 volt rechargeable battery, 6, milliamp, 6 amp hours, which is more than enough for the, the Hummingbird. Should be able to go all day with that. That is really awesome, and it doesn't weigh nothing compared to that battery. Big battery. Um, moving around. I do have my boat registration decals. I put them on a piece of plexiglass and clipped them to my rope. So now I'm legal for motors. In Colorado, you have to have register your boat if you're going to have any kind of motor, even an electric motor which I think is pretty stupid, but anyway, we're legal. I live in Colorado. I can't wait for the weather to get better so I can get it out. And the main reason I did this simplification of stuff is because I recently had back surgery, so I don't need a, a lot of heavy stuff, heavy lifting, heavy twisting. The heaviest thing, I think, is the board in the bottom of the boat. My wife helps me with that. And gosh, it's, I like it. I think it's the perfect little boat. You set up in your seats, cruise around, drink your beers, or whatever you want, and do some fishing. So there you have it. That's my uh, modifications to my Mariner 4. I hope you like it. Thank you.